Hello guys and welcome to the 14th lesson in the Ultimate Arduino Begins Guide series and today we are going to make an LED bar graph. Now what this is going to do is we're going to have a bunch of LEDs and a potentiometer on a breadboard and when you turn up the potentiometer all the way it's going to light up all the LEDs. When you have the potentiometer down all the way it's going to uh, light off all the LEDs. Whenever about midway it's going to light up half the LEDs. So what it's going to do is it's going to put on however many LEDs out of the 10 we're going to have, depending on how full it is, whether it's 2 tenths full, it'll turn 2 of them LEDs on. If you have it half the way up, it'll put 5 LEDs on. If you have it 3 quarters of the way up, it'll put 7 of the LEDs on. So that's what we're going to do. For today's Arduino project. Uh, today you'll need the Arduino Uno. The, the Arduino Uno is a good uh, microcontroller for this project, basically because it's very simple and it's all we'll need. You'll need a breadboard, uh, you'll need jumper wires, you'll need a potentiometer, you'll need 10 220 ohm resistors, and finally you will need a bunch of LEDs. Now, uh, you might be uh, wondering why I've got loads of different colour ones. Well, it just shows it doesn't really matter what colour LEDs you use. You can use any colour LEDs. Um, today I've, I'm using a couple of ultra bright ones. This is an ultra bright. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. I know it's not. But this is. I'm using red LEDs. I'm going to be using green ones, and I'm going to be using ultra bright ones. Now we are going to wire up the component. I will show you a wiring diagram made on fritzing, but before that I will show you a video of me wiring up the components. So now let's wire up the components. Now what you need to do uh, is place, basically, all of your LEDs on the breadboard. Now this has got a longer leg and a shorter leg. The longer leg goes to the right, so we just put a couple of gaps in between each one and we just line them up on the breadboard. So I'm just going to line up a couple. So right after each other, like that, until it goes all the way along with all your LEDs. Okay, so now you've done that, you'll have all your LEDs on the breadboard. Okay. Now you need to get your potentiometer, and you need to basically stick it in the end here, and just put it on, push it in, and there you have it, the potentiometer is just on the end. Okay, so now uh, what you do is you need to uh, hook up your breadboard to the ground and digital pins on your Arduino. So get a wire going from ground to the ground side of your breadboard. And then you need to get another wire. You need to have it going from 5 volts to the 5 volt side of your breadboard. Just going to put it in there. And there you have it. So, you've so now you've hooked up your breadboard, you need to hook up each side of your, uh, the cathode side of your LED to uh, ground. Now what we're, go we're going to do this via a 220 ohm resistor. We've got loads of them here, and we're going to use these. And now what we're going to do is, we're just going to go to the first LED, we have the cathode, the shorter leg on the left, so we're going to plug it in to ground, like that. Oh, sorry. Like that. So I'll just do a couple of these as an example. So I'm going to get another one. I'm going to stick it into... So what you need to do now is you need to attach each anode of your LEDs to a digital pin on your Arduino. But don't just attach them to any digital pin. So the first LED on your board needs to be attached to digital pin 11, then 10, then 9, then 8, then 7, then 6, then 5, then 4, then 3, then 2 for each LED. So uh, that's pretty simple and then when you've done that your wiring will be done. This is a wiring diagram made on fritzing to help you wire up your components. So now we're going to go through the code. So the first thing we do is we declare two constants. Constants don't change, they are very much like integer variables but they don't change and we're going to set the uh, pin number 
first, the analog pin A0. Now that is the pin that the potentiometer that we are using is attached to, A0. And we're going to use that later on in the program. Also, we need to set uh, the amount of LEDs, which we're going to use later. So we've created two constants, one for the analog pin and the other for the amount of LEDs in the bar graph. And then we're using something called an array. Now, an array, it's like an integer variable, but instead of storing one value, it stores more than one. So in this one, it's storing ten values, and the values it's storing are the um, pins the LED is attached to. So it says int led pins uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it's in a loop, a bit like a void setup and void loop would be like. It's not in a loop, it's in them set of curly brackets, that's what I mean. Okay, and then we are starting a void setup loop. Well, not a loop, but, you know, void setup. And what we need to do is we're going to loop over the pin array and set them all to outputs. So what we're doing is, uh, in this first line of code, it says for int this LED equals naught. We have just declared a new variable, int this LED. Now, it wouldn't matter if we uh, declared that anywhere, but we're just making a new variable inside there, this LED. And we're saying it's equal to naught. So what we're saying when, after that, it says this LED, uh, so if this LED is uh, smaller than lead count, this LED plus plus. So basically, what it's going to do is, that end bit there, focus on the end bit, this LED plus plus. What that's going to do is it's going to go over the pin array. It's going to loop over all them numbers, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's going to loop over them all. But it's only going to loop over them when um, the, um, it's only going to loop over them when it's less than 10, because that's what the lead count is, it's 10. So when it's less than 10, it's going to loop over the lead LED pins. And then that next bit is pin mode. Now what pin mode does is it sets pins as inputs or outputs. So what it does is it sets the um, LED pins as outputs, because they are giving off current. Okay, now let's have a look at the little next part um, in a void loop. So first of all, we need to read the potentiometers. So we've said int sensor reading equals analog read analog pin. Now we set we said before analog pin is a naught. So an analog read uh, will read an analog pin. So it's going to read a naught and see how much current is going into it. And that's what the integer variable sensor reading is going to be. It's going to be the value of a naught. And then we need to map the result to a range from naught to the number of LEDs. So what this is going to do is, uh, well, I'll just read it. So int LED level equals map sensor reading naught 1023 naught LED count. So that's, what that's going to do is just going to map um, map the result to a range from naught to the number of LEDs. And then what the next part is going to do is going to loop over the LED array. So for int this LED equals naught, this LED uh, is less than lead count, uh, this LED plus plus. And then if the array's element index is less than LED level, turn the pin for this element on. So if this LED is less than LED level, it's going to turn that pin for the element on. Uh, with digital right, LED pins this LED high. So it's going to turn on the LED pin for this LED, which is going to go from 0 to 8, or to, no, 0 to 10. And it's going to turn all of the LED pins higher than the LED level, turn off. So else, digital right, LED pins this LED low. Uh, now that is it for today. Uh, but uh, just a little thing, if I reach 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to post a new video pretty much every day. Uh, every moment when I posted this video, I was on 34. So it's a long way to go yet. Uh, and like, comment and subscribe, it only takes one second to subscribe to this channel and support uh, what I'm doing. So thanks for watching and be sure to watch my other Arduino tutorials.